Hi, my name is Fatma Saad, third year medical student. My seminar today about B cell lymphoma supervised by Dr. Zainab. Lymph node architecture. When we are looking to the lymph node, we see that it consists of two surfaces. Convex surface through which lymph comes to the lymph node and concave surface containing hilum through which pass three structure, artery, vein, and efferent lymphatic through which lymph goes out to the lymph node. Lymph node consists of three structure. Capsule which is always going to be found in the apical surface of the lymph node and consists of connective tissue. Extend into the lymph node and make some partition. This extension are called the trabeculae. This is trabeculae of the lymph node. And cortex which is always the darker portion and consists of a primary follicle which is homogeneous nodule of a small darkly staining naive inactivated B lymphocyte and secondary follicle this is secondary follicle Due to antigenic stimulation, show features such as germinal center formation, polarization, teenageable body macrophages. In this picture, this is secondary follicle contain germinal center. The germinal center of the secondary follicle consists of three types of the cell. Teenageable body macrophages, this is, which is large cell. Ample cytoplasm contain vacuoles and debris with vesicular nucleus. And the second type is centroplast, which is large with vesicular nucleus. And lastly, centrocyte, which is a small cell containing cleave nuclei and it have notch, which means that it have more maturation. And we have the area between the follicle, which is called paracortex or interfollicular area. Composed of T cell with post capillary and high endothelial venules and interdigitating cell. T cell are mostly small and naive but become activated and change into large immunoplast upon stimulation. The interdigitating cell involved in antigenous presentation when present in large number impart metal appearance. The last portion which is the medulla consists of primary sinus and primary cord. The cord, which is cord of the cell, including lymphocyte, mature plasma cell, plasma plast. The cord are separated by medullary sinuses. Sinus is a primary in medullary region, but do extend into cortex. We have subcapsulary sinus, like this area. Located directly beneath the capsule, lined by thin, pale staining endothelial cell, acquired lining of macrophages within the hilum, contain macrophages, lymphocyte, plasma cell, immunoplast, and sometimes neutrophils. In the last picture, this is mantle zone around the germinal center. Maturation sequence. Maturation sequence begin in the bone marrow as a stem cell and lastly to plasma cell. The stem cell in the bone marrow become a pro B cell, pre B cell, immature B cell. But when it leaves the bone marrow and go to peripheral compartment, it become naive B cell, which are present in a primary follicle and do not activated. Once it become activated, it become naive activated B cell. Germinal center B cell, post germinal center B cell, memory B cell, plasma plast, and lastly, plasma cell. The fate of the B cell in the lymph node is a plasma cell. So, the marker begin as pure B cell and lastly become pure plasma cell. And each time we see Ig positive, which means that. differentiation toward the plasma cell. The plasma cell marker CD38, C38, 
CD138. The germinal center B cell have strong Ig positive, but once it become memory cell, it will lose the 38 because it is only memory cell. Once become activated again, it become plasma blast and have the 38 marker. The germinal center begin as a small non-cleaved centrocyte, centroplast, large non-cleaved centroplast, large centrocyte, and small centrocyte. The cluster of differentiation or CD marker is a protocol used for identification and investigation of cell surface molecule, providing targets for many immunophenotyping of cells. CD marker is marker used for distribution between the cell depending on the antigen present on its surface. CD45 The essential marker of the lymphocyte, either it B or T lymphocyte, is CD45. So if we need to say this is lymphocyte and distinguish it from other cell which resemble it, we use this marker. CD79 will stain the B cell which is present in marginal in germinal center, marginal zone, mantle area, and parts of medulla. We have three essential markers for B cell: CD20, CD19, and CD79. We use this combination of this marker to stain the follicles, so it is present in germinal center. CD20 also will stay in germinal center, marginal area, mantle area, and part of medulla because of memory B cell. CD3 positive, of it is stain, staining for T cell, will stain the area of the T cell and the area of mantle area, marginal zone, and the part of medulla which have B lymphocyte will become negative. CD10 is marker for the germinal center. BCL6 also marker for the germinal center. BCL2 will stain the mantle area, marginal zone, but does not stain the germinal center. CD23 will stain the follicular dendritic cell. KI67 will stain the mitotic cell only. So we see it in the reactive germinal center. It becomes very high. CD4, CD3, CD8 are marker for the T cell. The main idea is that we have two types of T cell, cytotoxic T cell and helper T cell. In the case of reactive germinal center in the lymph node, the dominant cell is T helper cell because it will stimulate the maturation and give cytotoxic T cell. But CD8 become low because it is present in the area of the injury rather than in the lymph node. Lymphoma a Lymphoma is malignancy of the lymph node. In order to make a diagnosis, we need history, examination, histological morphology, immunohistochemistry, molecular study. Lymphoma in general divided into Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The classification of non-Hodgkin lymphoma is four types, precursor B-cell, peripheral B-cell, precursor T-cell, peripheral T-cell. I will talk about precursor B-cell, acute lymphoplastic lymphoma, and peripheral B-cell, small lymphocytic lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, follicular lymphoma, and Burkitt lymphoma. Acute lymphoplastic lymphoma or leukemia affected children. It's extranodal present as thrombocytopenia, anemia, neutropenia. Due to bone marrow failure, is most common presentation. Lymphodenopathy and hepatosplenomegaly are common. Central nervous system involvement is common. May present as leukemia, lymphoma, or both. Defined as leukemia if it is more than 25% of the lymphoplast in the bone marrow or blood. But define as lymphoma if the mass lesion is present in mediastinum or elsewhere, and less than 25% of the lymphoplast in the bone marrow and peripheral blood. The two subtypes based on lymphoid B lymphoplastic leukemia lymphoma, B acute lymphoplastic lymphoma, 85%, and T lymphoplastic leukemia or lymphoma. Subtype differ in prognosis, clinical presentation, and treatment. The cells of origin are 
precursor B cell in the bone marrow and the precursor T cell arising in the bone marrow and thymus. Morphology proliferation of a small to medium sized primitive cell, immunohistochemical stains for immaturity such as TDT, CD34, combined with evidence of B cell from CD78. A or PAX5, CD10 usually negative, and lack of staining for CD3. MPO is sufficient for diagnosis. Follicular lymphoma. BCL2 is anti-apoptotic gene, which means that it prevents apoptosis. If any mutation occurs in this gene, the apoptosis will arrest, and there would be accumulation of the survival cell and these cells will make lymphoma, this type of the lymphoma called follicular lymphoma. In this picture, we see the reactive lymph node and follicular lymphoma. In the case of reactive lymph node, the cells are different in size and the shape, and there, there will be teenageable body macrophages, BCL2 negative in germinal center, but the KI67 become very high. And in the case of follicular lymphoma, the cells are the same in the size and the shape, and there will be no teenageable body macrophages. But BCL2 become positive, and KI67 become low. This is follicular lymphoma. We use CD20 because it is BCL, and we use CD10 because it is germinal center. Small lymphocytic lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, affect old age individuals, and it have low grade of malignancy. Disease in bone marrow, lymph nodes, spleen, and liver, which means that it's extra nodal, and often present with leukemia, although patient may be asymptomatic. Small lymphocytic lymphoma may progress to blood. Involvement almost all cases are B cell origin. Morphology cues of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, small lymphocytic lymphoma in tissue specimen include the primary diffuse infiltrated, composed of small monomorphic B cell, with lighter staining proliferating center containing polypromylo. Um, Pro-lymphocyte and para-immunoplast. Typically, the malignant cell express both CD5 and CD23, with other B cell markers such as CD20, CD19, and CD79A. In this picture, we see small light staining area, which is the area of proliferation, and in the last picture, we see the para-immunoplast and the pro-lymphocyte. In this picture, this is immunohistochemistry of the lymph node biopsy, infiltrating lymphocyte and positive for CD5, CD20, CD23, but negative for cyclin D1. Burkitt lymphoma affects children and young adults. High grade of B cell lymphoma characterized by CD10 positive, C, MYC, and translocation between the chromosome 8 and 14, either endemic usually in jaw and abdomen, with 95% associated with epstein bar virus or sporadic. Morphology diffuse infiltrating of monomorphic, medium-sized, 10 to 25 micron cells with abundance basophilic cytoplasm, many cleaved round nuclei with coarse chromatin and 2 to 5 distant nucleoli. Mitotically active and have star sky pattern, the stars are teenageable body macrophages. In this picture, we see the star sky appearance, which is the teenageable body macrophages. And in the last picture, this is the mandible barkit lymphoma. And thank you for your listening.